Hello everybody, welcome to White Knight, what could possibly be the start of a new series, depending on what you think of this video. It's also a game that has been recommended by you guys in the comments of my previous videos, and to be honest, I'm learning to trust you quite a bit, because all of the games that you've recommended to me recently have been really, really good. I mean, different levels of good, but all really good. Now this one looks to be no different. This game is, if you're wondering why you're seeing me like this, all in black and white. I'm just trying to get in with the style, you know. It's noir styled, noir themed. It's a horror adventure puzzle game. And it looks fantastic. So without further ado, for the very first time, I'm going to be playing White Knight. I hope you enjoy it. Some nights are just pitch black, without stars, and without sleep. Dirty nights clinging to you like tar. Like this one night, back in 1938. Boston. The Great Depression tsunami was just sweeping over what was left of America. Misery. Hunger. Despair. Times are hard, they said. Times were worse than hard. And the bar was about to close. As far as I was concerned, this was just another intoxicated day drawing to an end. If only I knew. If only you knew what? <laughs> By the way, I have no idea what the story is going to be in this game. I can only assume that's who I'm going to be playing as. Uh, am I a detective by any chance? I look like a detective, but then so many people from the 20s and 30s did. Or at least they do in games. It's either you're a detective, or you're a member of the Mafia. That's usually what it is, if it's the 20s or 30s. Wow, okay. I can't complain about the game's look, honestly. They've got the style, you know, down pat. But what I'm hoping is that it's just going to be more than style. I hope there's actually some substance to it. But yeah, no complaints so far. Well, I'm off at a rush. Where am I going? Chapter 1 out, of course. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking it so far. There hasn't been too much to judge it on, honestly, but... Okay. Am I in control now? Oh, I am! Okay! Oh, okay, we can drive through the credits? Yeah? Why not, I suppose? Why not? That's a great way of doing it. I'll excuse the occasional pop-in. I mean, it is an indie game after all. Really nice. Ah, uh, what? I just missed the turn off to Boston. It's only five miles away. We probably could have made it. Oh well, maybe the, maybe the next one. Okay. It's kind of... Oh, hang on. Lake Noir. Ah, no. Ah, you, you can't turn enough to actually go down any of the side roads, unfortunately. And I don't think I can brake enough to stop and turn. But yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of nice to go into a game with no expectations. Because I have the tendency to kind of, like, overhype the games that I'm looking forward to. It kind of happened with The Witcher, but thankfully The Witcher wasn't a letdown at all. But, but so many other games are, and I'm always feeling a little bit disappointed that they don't live up to my extremely high expectations. But thankfully, because I don't know anything about this, I... What's that? What's that? Hang on. Whoa! Welcome to White Knight, everybody. Part 1. The shock was still echoing in my bones as the image of that girl coming out of nowhere surged back in my mind. Did I hit her? Was she dead? I couldn't remember. Thoughts were spinning in my head. I hope I didn't run her over. I hope she's still alive. Then, the pain. The terrible pain on my side. And this question. Where am I? Where are you? You didn't know where you were driving? Hmm. I'm wondering. Maybe I'm I'm just sort of like trying to guess a twist that doesn't exist, but am I in fact 
already dead. Is that it? I'm fairly sure the girl I, I ran down was per well, I think a ghost. I think she was see-through. Wow, this game does look good. And I can completely understand why the lighting is so important in this. Is it all going to be black and white? Or is it going to be black, white, and red, perhaps, for blood? Because black, white, and red, they go together so well. Okay, despite the pain, using the arrow keys to walk was still possible. Okay, great way of teaching you the controls. Really keeps it in, uh, in the style. I could examine the place using space. Can I? Oh, apparently yes. This girl on the road. The impact. I couldn't find her body. Okay. Oh, I see, right. So, there's a little, si yeah, the little symbol in the top right, the magnifying glass, that's when I can examine things. Okay. What have we got? We've got an electrical box right at the end. You can see the, the headlight, it's shining in the distance. Let's go investigate. Let's have a look. I'm using it, I think? Yeah, the box seemed to be connected to the electric lighting of the street. But I guess it's like playing up or something. Can you fiddle around with it a little bit more? No? No, I can't interact with it anymore. Okay, so space seems to be the use key and everything. And man, you do not look good. You don't appear to be bleeding or anything, but that could be a really bad sign that you've got like an internal hemorrhage or something. What's this? No body? No blood? Where did the girl disappear? Boston Daily News? What's all that about? Anyway, there's a gate over here, I think. Let's have a look at this. Head over to the light. Oh, here we go. For help, I could rely on the Boston Daily News, which I could check with Jay. So here we go. Oh, great, okay. Have I killed her? Nice headline there. Who was that girl who crossed the road? I couldn't avoid her, but I never found her body. I couldn't get her desperate stare out of my mind. But I was wounded, and I needed help. Okay. And that's, that's all we got right now. So it's a very, very short news article, but fine. Okay, maybe we'll add to it later. I think it said one out of 60 or something like that. Anyway, yeah, let's head towards the light. That's probably a good bet. It is a gate. Okay. What can we do? Let's interact with it. No? That's not working. Yes, it is. There we go. Go on. With all your might, with all your strength, give it a heaving push. Or pull. Probably one of the two. There we go, we're in. Oh, is it, is it going to be a bit of a cliche, like a, a haunted mansion in the middle of nowhere? I was trying to collect my thoughts, but the intense pain was scattering them like a bunch of dead birds. My fear of being wounded changed into an obsession. Was I about to die? Well, if you're going along with my theory, I think you're already dead. It's like a Beetlejuice situation. You die right at the beginning, and then we follow you as you discover that you're already dead. But no, it's probably not anything like that. Nice camera angles, I like that. It seems to follow the sort of old Resident Evil style, where you, it's a fixed camera position that's just following you in third person. It's not always behind you or anything. Is that a graveyard over there? I guess we should go and check that out. There's a for sale sign as well. What do we go for first? There's a well. Let's check the well out. <laughs> Maybe if you watched my video that I did on the Masochesia Alpha, well, you probably know this, but I just don't like going straight for the front door of a place. I want to see if I can get around the back, for instance, you know? Is that an ank on the tree? It kind of looks like it. Oh, hang on. I, I can use the well. Oh, why'd you do that, you numpty? It was quite a drop. Oh, okay. But, okay, that was uh, that was enough to get added to the Boston Daily News, apparently. So let's check that out. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm skipping ahead a little bit. But it's all one article, I see. So, yeah, okay. So down here. The bucket fell down a dozen meters at least. No way to recover it. Thinking this was a premonition was probably just superstition. But I felt definitely uneasy. Oh, I can understand that. Okay, uh, I actually am going to go over to that tree and check if that actually is an ank on that. It kind of looks like it. You know the Egyptian symbol? This unknown symbol lets out a powerful aura. 
There's also some, like, wood leaning up against the tree. Planks of wood or something. Can I examine that too? Maybe? Oh no, I'm, I'm examining the uh, symbol again. Now, I wonder, can we actually go all the way around? Let's just keep walking away from the canvas, see how far we can go. I'm liking this so far. Quite a lot, actually. And oh, I think we've met with a, an invisible barrier already. Never mind, never mind. There's also some planks on the floor there, in the corner. Maybe I can examine that. Something might be boarded up, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just a pile. Maybe I'm just seeing things now. It's kind of, uh, kind of hard to determine what you're really looking at in black and white sometimes. But no, I can't actually have a look at this in greater detail, so... That's not like a boarded up entrance to the basement or something like that. I gotta say, if this is actually like a haunted house in the middle of nowhere, kind of cliche, I, I, I don't mind that. For sale. This board looked as old as the house. Alright. I suppose we should really investigate the front door at some point, but... I kind of want to have a look at the cemetery or the graveyard or wherever it is over there. The arm came from a marble structure. The arm? I think I see what he means. Oh, you know what? He does like look like he's in a little bit of pain there, so let's climb these steps. Go across the uh, the porch area and see if we can get in. I'll, I'll explore everything else later on. Is it abandoned? Oh, the landlord was out, so the key might be around here somewhere. Right, so, look under plant pots, under, you know, mats, stuff like that. It's gonna be around the porch somewhere. I was all alone, with my pain growing, and some nausea starting up. Don't stop. Think quick. Think well. It was just an accident. It happens. The girl must have made it out alive. I had to make it out alive, too. Oh, what's this? What's this? Hang on. I'm standing on it. It's a letter. A letter from Martha Kenton to William Vesper. Okay. Under normal circumstances, I would never have tried to contact you. I am an honest woman. I have supported my husband since the blessed day of our wedding, from which two beautiful children were born. I have given them the best education I could, but today, I cannot afford to raise them properly anymore. We are ruined. My husband's employer went bankrupt. He is travelling from town to town, trying to find a job, while I have to beg for food every single day. My four-year-old son has a bad cough, which is getting worse, and I fear for his life. Nowadays, we can see children die in the streets. Is this still America? I beg of you, who are rich. Only a few dollars would be enough. We could work for you. We live in the shack under the best oil sign at the entrance of the slum, by the Graham slaughterhouses. Don't hesitate to come. And that's from Martha Kenton. A very, a very desperate letter to, I assume, the owner of the house, uh, William Vesper. Okay, also while he was, you know, monologuing a little bit, I think I added a, a couple more things to the Boston Daily News, yes. The glass was still moist and the chair was overlooking the garden. Someone was there very recently. If that person were to come back, my wound would be the only acceptable reason for breaking in. Anything else? No, there's a couple I've missed, it seems. I'm doing this a little bit out of sequence. Okay, there's <laughs> like an advert for beer here. Let's have a look. You may love it, you may hate it, or you may have never drunk a beer. Did you know the cost of all the new jobs in the Civilian Conservation Corps program from Roosevelt's New Deal could be covered just by the taxes on beer? Over $328 million! Taxes on beer amount to almost $1 million per day. Beer means over 1 million jobs for you, your neighbours, or your friends. Beer producers know they are, uh, they are for well-being, but they also want beer to be safe for everyone. Enjoy with moderation. And the future, yours like ours, always will be prosperous. Beer is your product, and it's your future. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, there's another one down here. No one answered my calls. Either someone was hiding in there, or the house was empty. In both cases, that wouldn't be very helpful to me. I needed a key, and that is what I'm searching for right now. I haven't found too much quite yet. Anything around the corner? It's awfully dark around here. And, oh, I've disappeared. <laughs> oh no, I'm still that good. Um, no, nothing to examine around there. Maybe around the other side? 
Where was it on Pine in Pine View Drive? On a windowsill, I think. Check the windowsills if possible. Oh, hang on. I'm examining something. Old and damp planks which had fallen from the front of the mansion. And is that a window behind me? I think it is. But I couldn't see a thing. The window was watching over a tomb. Speaking of which, yeah, that, that graveyard out there. Maybe I should actually have a look at that. Since I'm sort of like forced to be out here for a while. Might as well. Hopefully I don't have like some sort of time limit before I die of my injuries. But um, you never know I suppose. But yeah, this definitely looks like a graveyard or something. And that is the outline of a statue, isn't it? Do you need to sit down? Kind of looks like you do. I think he's going to fall over before he sits down there. Oh, hang on. What was I examining there? What's this? Well, there's no key there. I, d I don't know what that is. A little plinth for something. Oh, it's a bird bath, I think. We've got graves here. What's this? William Vesper. Oh, that's who the uh, the letter was to, and he's dead. Oh, that's kind of rough. Okay. And yet, yeah, that is indeed a statue. Can we have a look? Uh, I think I saw a, a magnifying glass. Yeah, there it is. The statue is staring at me with a white and hostile stare. Okay. And I, I guess I added that to the, the Boston Daily News, so let's have a look. I couldn't help but think about that statue's broken arm. Someone had obviously moved it recently, but I couldn't help thinking it was some kind of desecration. There you go. I do like the way the game's given me this information. This is really cool. Although I am finding a lot of the newspaper articles really quickly, so I don't know how long this game is meant to be. What else we got? We have a... A bucket or something over there? Hopefully this one's not going to go falling down a well. This The key was probably hidden nearby, but just not here, right? Let's check out the other crosses, I guess. If possible, can we get close? Yes. Henry Vesper. I assume this is all going to be the, the Vesper family then, isn't it? Uh, let's check that one over here. Oh, hang on. Let's go around. Over here. Is there a little one down there? Is that what I see? Kind of like a work in progress cross. And there's a big one over here, but I'm not sure if I can get any closer to it, really. No, I don't believe I'm going to be able to. Okay, there's some boxes behind the statue. Can I have a look in there? Maybe like a spade or something? To break the door down? I'm not sure. The statue had been moved recently. Okay. Okay. Well, there's, there's definitely something to do with the statue. I mentioned the arm as well. He thinks it's been desecrated. There is always a spare key somewhere around all those old places. Yeah, is that a good clue that it's around here somewhere? Okay, that, yeah, that's, that's William Vespers. So what was the one in the middle? This one over here. A metallic shard in the dark caught my attention. Okay, even in his world, it's all black and white. A shard in the dark caught your, caught your attention. Is it because it's in the shadow of the statue? Okay. Now I could actually interact with the statue? Is he trying to move it? Oh, right. So that... that, that, that oh, geez, that metallic shard was the key. Okay. Weird place to leave a key. Interesting. I guess that's where the puzzle element comes in. Anyway, let's grab that key. Twisted, but the dead probably kept burglars away. I had the feeling I was about to desecrate a sanctuary. To open the door to a world I didn't belong to. But whoever lived in there, they would understand. I needed help. Anyone would understand that. Well, let's hope so. But you don't have to explain yourself to us, do you? Let's be honest. I just hope you can get treated before you die. That is, if you're alive now. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm, I'm just always expecting a twist in these kind of games. I'm fairly sure that girl was dead. Is she a member of the Vespa family? Mm, check it out. This is the key. How do I use it? Just like that, apparently.
Getting somewhere safe. That's all that mattered. As the doors opened, the mansion seemed to react to my presence. There was a smell. Like a cornered animal. A smell of fear. And yet, I entered the place. Because I had no choice. I was praying to find a phone, or some help. I didn't even bother wondering what happened to prayers when they reached the wrong door. Okay, that is the end of the first chapter, and that's the end of the first video. The more support this video gets, the more likely I'll continue the series.